So, I have a plan that I'm going to be consuming a bunch of sugar. Uh, now you might be like, wait, I thought you were done uploading. No, I never said I was done uploading. I said I was done making content. So I'm going to upload. It's just not going to be things people like. And yes, I am way overexposed, and that's because I made the brilliant idea to try to use natural light. Um, and it is blowing out my camera. But at the same time, I don't want to close my blinds because um, then I won't be, you, will be, you won't be able to see me. So I'm hoping a cloud moves in front of the, uh, the sun before the end of this video. Um, this is the lowest ISO I can get. It's just very bright out. Um, anyway. I uh, have a bunch of stuff here in front of me that I'm going to show you. Oh, here we go. Now a cloud is moving over. You might be able to see me for a bit. Um, so my plan is to first load up on some sauerkraut. This is Bubby's. This is the real deal. Real deal stuff. This is the best sauerkraut you can buy in the United States. It has water, salt, cabbage. That's it. Probiotic, unpasteurized. This is the real stuff. A lot of like, in fact, most, in fact, almost all Americans have never had a real pickle. So if you go to the store and you, and you see all like the pickles and sauerkrauts, they all have like vinegar and citric acid and stuff in them. These are fake. Americans don't realize this, but that's not how pickles and sauerkraut are supposed to be. They're dead and they're fake. The Bubby's ones, they actually make pickles too. Theirs are living, so all their stuff is living bacteria with, you know, lactic acid from the uh, lactobacillus. Um, but yeah, most Americans never have never had like a real sauerkraut or real pickle, um, believe it or not. And so they don't know what they're missing. And they get these um, dead processed products. <laughs> and uh, some of them even like the, the pickles, but they've never actually had pickles. It's kind of sad. Anyway, and, and it's, it, it really does provide like an umami flavor, like a whole like additional like flavor when you have it like actually fermented and unpasteurized and, and you get the probiotics. Anyway, the point is, is that I'm going to be consuming a bunch of sugar and some probiotics because I've been eating basically nothing but meat for the past couple of months. And, um, you know, besides my little stints, I'm sorry that if this is so, it's such a bad idea to film a video like this. Um, this is just really bad, uh, Cinematography. I might, I might, I might close the blinds a little. We'll try. Uh, we'll try with it half closed, and this way, hopefully, you will be able to see me if a cloud moves in front of the sun. Anyway, we have some black grapes. Um, very big black grapes. I like. I like big grapes. And we have some mangoes, um, which will probably ripen up in a day or two. We have a bunch of these. I bought a bunch of these, um, like a couple bags of these, because that's mainly what I want to eat is just like fiber and sugar. Um, I don't have like, I don't have like cantaloupe, um, although I want that. I don't have like kiwis and stuff, because that stuff activates like my oral allergies syndrome. Maybe one day I can start putting, you know, that back into my diet as well. But I want to keep it basically simple. Um, things that shouldn't hurt me other than just the sugar. Um, but it gets, I mean, it gets really bad. When I put the sugar in me, I get, you know, depressed, anxious, obsessive thoughts, terrible thoughts. Dysphoria becomes quite bad again. Um, I don't know why. It's, it's incredible how terrible it is um, but people should be able to eat fruit in my opinion so um, yeah this is what I'm doing I'm going to basically be forcing myself to eat sugars for the next week at least and normally I only make it to day two and I'm like yeah I can't do this to myself I'm hurting myself so much I might permanently hurt myself from doing this but it's not like I'm healthy anyway it's not like, you know, because I've been on the meat diet for a long time. And yet at the same time, I'm getting new symptoms and worsening symptoms. And it just, it's not ideal. 
So trying this, hopefully allowing my body to figure out a way to use sugar without dying. But I'm not, I'm not too optimistic here because I've tried this many times. I just haven't tried it with, you know, the probiotics and forcing myself to stay on it even when it hurts me. Um, I usually back out. So this is what we're doing. I'm also going to be weighing myself and using a special scale. So we'll see my visceral fat and we'll see my like uh, muscle mass, bone density, all that stuff. And we'll see if that changes at all. I don't really expect it to, especially not over a week. But long term, if I stay on this, if I'm able to actually find a way to get my body back onto this stuff, we can see the difference in, you know, these visceral fat um, between plants and all meat, all plants and all meat. Um, now, let's see. That's about it. Did I show the licorice? I bought, I bought this as a snack. This is probably the worst thing I bought, but it's organic at least. Um, <clears throat> it's like it's colored with like carrots and apples and black currants. And this is like, I mean, it's not healthy, but it's, I just, I wanted licorice and it has actual licorice extract in it. Normally when you buy the flavored licorices, they don't actually have licorice extract, but this company does do that. Um, even if it's not black licorice, although I tried to get black licorice, they were just out, but so I got this strawberry flavor, which I, I've had before and I like, um, but uh, the issue is the rice flour. That always messes me up, something, something severe. I really can't have any grains. Um, but, well, it's basically just sugar otherwise. And so if I can't have this, I can't have fruit, then yeah, I'm just fucked. It's my body's just something, something went wrong somewhere along the way. Maybe it's my pancreas, maybe it's who knows. But, um... I mean, if I can't have this and fruits, then I'm never going to be able to eat carbs again. So that is what this test is doing. I'm going to really try to give it its best shot. Every time I eat any sugar, I'm going to be also eating some sauerkraut probiotic. And um, I wish I had, I wish I had like a, one of those medications they give to people with autoimmunity to shut off their immune system just for this little time. In fact, I could have, I could have bought some of that. Um, it's not safe, but just short term, it should be fine. It would allow me to eat this stuff probably without the terrible effects to my body. And maybe I could, you know, do it that way. That way I don't get the permanent damage to my body while I'm doing it. That would be smart. Maybe I'll like, um, I don't know, go out and buy like a bunch of alcohol or something. That's a bunch of sugar as well and um, shut my system down with that, immune system down with that. I don't know. That's a thought. Um, maybe I'll look up ways to weaken the immune system because, uh, yeah, this this is going to get really bad. I know it's going to get really bad, very painful. But I thought I'd let you all know what I'm doing. Um, yeah, this video turned out terrible because I decided to use natural light, but anyway. Um Otherwise, I'm just going to kind of be freaking out probably the whole time and angry and bitter. Try to distract myself with something. But uh, yeah, I'm basically going to be in hell for a week at least. And then probably another week after that while I recover from doing this to myself. But I really have no choice. Um, I, I got I to gotta try this. It sucks. This is going to really suck. Yeah. But that is what I'm doing. So anyway, um, I'm going to go now. And I'm going to probably start with the grapes. I'll start with the grapes. And I'll eat some sauerkraut. And then later on, maybe I'll have the uh, mandarins. And then maybe for dessert, I'll have my licorice. <laughs> um, sugar, sugar, sugar.
Um, there's a lot of reasons I'm doing this. You may be like, why so much sugar? Why not just add a little sugar with your meat? Because that isn't going to cure me. That's, it's, that's not going to fix me. I mean, this isn't probably either, but that's definitely not. Um, there's, a, there's a person who has my same autoimmune condition, Hashimoto's. Texas Fruitarian, you can look her up. And she cured her Hashimoto's, came off all her thyroid meds with a, fruit, a whole fruit diet, completely fruit, fruitarian. Um, I don't personally think that is at all healthy. I think it will rot your teeth right out of your face. But it's something to try. Um, and currently I can't even eat a single, like, if I have like even like f probably three of these grapes, if I have like three of these grapes, that would mess me up. I'm going to have all of these grapes. <laughs> um, so, yeah. Yeah. I mean, it's interesting, you know, the same autoimmune condition. She can eat a whole diet of fruit and be healthier and have her MS go into remission and get off all her thyroid meds. And I can't have a single frickin' fruit without breaking out in, like, hives and having my joints start snapping and... Um, and then, you know, my eyes start deteriorating. Everything gets blurry. Ugh, I hate, I hate the eye thing because it really freaks me out. It's disorienting. Oh, and then the vertigo. Shit, I forgot about the vertigo. That's not going to be fun. I have some motion sickness pills in case the vertigo comes during this, at least. Um, yeah... Yeah. If anything, this is, this is just going to remind me how much better the, the meat diet makes me feel. Um, and then I'll just stay on that for the rest of my life. And it's just, just chalk, chalk up sugar to being just poison for the body, which it probably is, but... Um, well, the meat diet's not going to cure me. That's, that's the thing, right? The meat diet... He's never going to cure me. I'm just going to get sicker and sicker at a slower pace until I die. Um, and if, that, if that's the way it goes, then that's the way it goes. But um, I have to try this because I know someone who's, who's been effectively cured of all their issues by doing something similar to this. So this is what I'm going to try. I want to say I'm going to give it longer than a week because it's going to need longer than a week, but I don't know if I'm going to be physically capable of doing it longer than a week. So that is what the plan is. Anyway, take care. Um, thanks for watching.